All right, welcome back. We are moving along here with the next story mission. I just have to say, a uh, pretty exciting event happened from the last time uh, we did the special edition on the um, Ford GT40. And I went to the junkyard, and lo and behold, sitting in the junkyard was a Ford GT40. Uh, so I picked it up. Uh, I picked up another... Uh, Let's see, I picked up another vehicle, something similar to this, um, at a, at a farm, or, not a farm, or, yeah, ranch or something. Anyways, uh, so here's the next story mission. I don't think it'll be very long, which will probably be nice, considering how much, uh, how long the last one was with the Ford GT40. Alright, so it says, my car doesn't start anymore. When it used to run, it made strange noises. Every morning, I would wake up in an entire neighborhood. Please make sure, please make it start and see if you can do something so it's not so darn loud and change the oil and drain the, uh, change the oil. Alright, so let's take a look here. We'll use some of our fancy schmancy tools that we have. Uh, clearly the exhaust is out of it, at least in two spots there. You can see right now, uh, which is kind of what I expected. The fuel pump is no good. Um, let's see what else we can find. Some random switching of the uh, voltmeter. The battery's no good. Let's just test the engine here. I'm not sure how it works if the starter is no good or the battery is no good. Alright, all that stuff is probably just fine. And it doesn't have an OBD port. So let's take a look and see if we found problems. Uh, we didn't find all of them. We certainly didn't. So, okay. Let's start. Uh, well, let's see if we can't change a few things around here. Let's get the... Uh, let's see. We need to find the... Let's just go in inspection mode. What did it, okay, here we go. There, so we'll take the filter. Oh, what else did it say? Battery and the pump. Okay. So let's find the battery. Here it is. It'll probably at least make it start. Uh, and the pump will probably be in the back. So let's... Uh, lift it up here. We need to change the oil anyway, but first I want to do is see if we can't get it s started. Alright, we'll just take this off. This off. And this fuel pump out here. Okay, let's go into our inventory list. We'll add this real quick, see if we can't get it started here. So uh, let me do some shopping and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, let's real quick like throw this together and see if we can't get the thing to start. Um, we won't make any promises. Could throw us for a little loop here, but... Um, at least if we can, we can get it on the test track over there. So, here we go. Put that on there, good. Lower this down. See if we can't take it over to the test track. I don't know if it's actually going to do us any good, but no. Nope. Okay, so we still can't start the engine. And we might as well uh, just get back to it here. We'll do the uh, 
oil drain. We'll get that part started. I don't think I'll pull the engine out, not for this one. Okay. Lower it back down. It's probably timing related or. It could be. Um, spark plug wires. Sixty four percent, it said. Could be the coil, I guess. Five percent. How are we doing here? Coil. So it's probably like, because uh, it doesn't have an OBD scanner. Let's start with stuff that would cause it to start or not start. Um, we know fuel-wise, we have that figured out because we did our fuel system test. All right. And let's take a look here. All right. So we have everything now. Uh, one, two, three, four spark plugs and a ignition coil. Uh, so apparently the, the wires are just fine. So let's go to uh, go in here and put spark. And we got four of those. And then ignition. And let's whoop. It's probably I4 single overhead cam. I'm sure that's what it is. Okay. So let's uh, hope we forgot to take the uh, oil filter off. We'll probably have to go back underneath and do that. I can't rightfully change the oil without a new oil filter. And this. Wires. Let's see, can we take this off? From the lifter. Okay. On on the lift. Okay. Oil filter. some oil in it and that'll be that and this this thing is gonna be so short maybe we'll go do some shopping um, we'll go to a oh, wrong button I pull the trigger button to, to pour this for whatever reason the oil off the dipstick right on schedule. Good. Alright. Close the hood. There we go. And we're done. Okay. Let's pick up another... Well, we could just go ahead and do... Uh, let's just wait. Uh, I'll get that in here. What I want to do is wait. That that doesn't have a time limit, so let me just fill the garage with something else here. Uh, what I typically want is maximum carnage. Uh, so let's do... That's not maximum, but we'll put that in the, in the garage there. Oh, wow. Hey there. He's missing a hood. He's pretty old school. Okay, we don't have any upgrade points. Uh, but we're getting much closer to level 30, well, 10 levels away, which is where things really start to change. Um, we get another lift, a paint shop, you know, uh, of course we need to be level, it uh, looks like level 35 um, to repair body parts. 
Uh, but um, let's take a let's go over here and see if we. I don't think there's anything to do. Uh, so we'll just sell and sell all of this and open up our loot box, and then we'll go. Uh, we'll go do some shopping since this video is not going to be very long. All right, very good. Okay, so let me go and dump all of our parts off into my organized uh, little section. So, and then uh, warehouse number four gets plus three parts, and then uh, barn locator gets that. I think I've already got two barns on the map. Uh, what I'd really like to have is another uh, another Jeep here, um, you know, as I was talking about. So, uh, Jeep Willie's Military uh, to make this a standard Jeep. So, uh, let's go to the barn right there. We only have one unlocked at a time. That's okay. Cost me a hundred bucks. Let's, uh, let's go stop. do some shopping. I mean, what I'd like to do with this uh, series is, is, you know, just turn it into a, you know, a restoration or, you know, a, yeah, a restoration auction type of a shop. When, you know, we still work for the public a little bit to make sure our cash flow is good. But at the same time, we uh, can collect some uh, some old beaters and put some, some uh, good cars back on the market. Oh, here we go. Let's see here. Uh, it's kind of crowded in here. Let's. I don't really like to look through this. Oh, geez. We'll definitely get the crate. You never know what that's going to have. Most of this stuff is never worth picking up because I can't fix it reliably. Um, what's this? Uh, a cam gear for an IE3. You know, a lot of times it's just better to just buy it know and uh, hope now that's in decent condition caster earthquake right headlight can't fix glass there's no point in having that Plymouth Roadrunner front right fender um, I don't want to buy any of that stuff until I know I can fix it reliably uh, let's see what we have here. This looks like a fairly put together car. Interior is at 99%. Frame is at 93%. Global conditions. And they want 21000 for it. So they're not sure what's up with the engine. Um, wow, that one's mostly put together. That might be something you could take to an auction right away. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, here we go. Interior 96. Uh, now, see, this one's even more in much better condition. This might be worth picking up and see if we can't make a quick turnaround with it. Um, looks like there's probably going to need some engine work to it. Uh, body is in decent shape. Frame isn't too bad. Interior is pretty good. Swap options. Hmm. Tells you what you can change on it. You can put in an overhead valve Hemi. Windsor. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know you could do that. You can change the engines in it. Overhead valve, what's that? 385? Hmm. Let's just get this one. Yeah. Put it in the car park. Okay, good. We picked up a car. Um, there's probably not worth anything else. That one's not really worth it. I check this junk box, I think. Yeah. All right, let's uh, leave the garage and make sure we take that box, that loot box.
it might be $200 uh, worth of uh, fancy equipment in there. Who knows? All right, uh, you know what? Let's take a look here at the uh, Jeep real quick and uh, see if we can't get a custom gearbox for it. Um, let's uh, part mount. So let's see, an I-4C. Uh, let's see, we need to switch to the warehouse. Unfortunately, this only goes um with individual warehouses we have to search every single one of them uh so we got okay Nothing there. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's not the right one. And we can see that we don't have a gearbox. Okay, let's check a look at. No, no, no. We'll have to open up that loot box first. Let's see if there's... All right. B6A, B6A, and a plus one a Lotus Elite rim. All right, very good. Probably two hundred dollars worth of stuff. All right, so um, we need that I four C. Let's go into the shop here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to custom. Let's I four C. Okay, that one has an I four C gearbox. Let's check out our. Okay, that doesn't. Body shop plates, tires, interior. So it looks like $990. Woo. I hope there's not another one laying around and I didn't take enough time to look. I didn't. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and just attach this gearbox. Since we're here, do it just a little bit. Most of this stuff I've done off camera, so be a nice little, nice little bonus to do a little of this uh, while you guys are with me here. So we can put that on there. Nice. Okay, and this is a regular starter transfer case, middle muffler. All right, so we'll do custom exhaust on it, stuff like that. I have to find out what that starter is. Let's just drop it down real quick. I got an extra, because I bought one, the wrong one, one time. Mount, this would be a... Oh, I'm not in the engine bay? Just a starter. Okay, well, you know what? I think that's going to be it. What I'll do here is I'm going to go through and, you know, put a starter on that, some exhaust. Eventually, we'll get this thing fired up so we can actually move it. Uh, and then we'll work, continue to work until level 25, unless we get a special vehicle again before then. Uh, until then, I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.
Thanks. Bye.